YouTube fam? It's your girl Olivia Simone back with another video. Today I'm going to go ahead and cook dinner. Let me tell you what's on the menu. Today we're having salmon, two ways, one jerk, one Cajun with some yellow rice and some green beans. And we're going to test out that air fryer and how it air fries salmon. All right, so I'm going to start with the rice first. I have one cup of rice. I'm going to go ahead and clean my rice. Great seed oil. I'm gonna be using my Insta rice cooker today to make my rice. So I just put a little bit of grape seed oil in there. I'm gonna take my clean rice and transfer it in there. And because we're making yellow rice to make my yellow rice, I use sesame. So we'll use a little bit of that. It's only one cup of rice, so you don't need a lot. Just a little bit, and I like to use a little bit of sea salt, not a lot. This is only one cup of rice that we're making. And then for this particular Insta Rice cooker, for one cup, you're going to put one fourth cup of water. And I'm going to stir that up. And we're going to go ahead and get that started before we work on our sandwich. This little gadget is great, especially if you're trying to move quickly. I want to make something quick. And then it also has a keep warm capability, so you can keep it warm. All right, so we'll let that go. Starting it on our salmon to get ready to cook that next. So let me get a knife. So we're going to cut this in. Um, this into two pieces. I have a little bit of slime on it. Put that over the sink. And just like I clean any of my other meat, I'm gonna go ahead and clean this with some um, lime. Take two. All right, so I don't have any um, lime right now, but I'm still gonna go ahead and clean this. Clean this, this is just a beautiful piece of fish. All right. Some people will tell you not to clean your meat, but I clean everything. It's fish, so you don't want it to, to soak. You just want to give it a good rinse. Right? And then I like to um, pat dry my fish with a paper towel. And then we're going to put it on the cutting board. And we're going to cut this in half because remember we're making it two ways. So you want to just cut that right down the middle, as even as you can. It doesn't have to be perfect. And the skin is a little bit tough, but that's okay. Because this um, salmon does have skin on the back. All right. So the first flavor we're going to do today is the Cajun flavor. So you're gonna take your filet. I'm gonna make sure this bowl can be used. Get that water out of there. You don't want excess water. So the first thing we're gonna use for the first one is a little bit of sea salt. You can use that sparingly. I'm gonna flip it over to the back, do the same thing. A little bit of sea salt. All right, and I'm going to use some garlic powder. And 
same thing. I'm gonna flip it over. A little bit of garlic powder. I'm also going to use some black pepper, my favorite. Can't have anything without black pepper. Okay. And then I'm going to use some Obey. I have two kinds of Obey and I use both of them. I told y'all already, I like seasoning. So just a little bit because this is gonna um, be Cajun style. And you still need to put your Cajun seasoning on there. Now let me get some tall. I can flip that over. The next seasoning we're going to use here is New Orleans Cajun style seasoning. All right. And then since that's the last seasoning I'm going to use, I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit of grapeseed oil on there. And then we're going to put some New Orleans Cajun seasoning on the back. And you're going to do the same thing. You're going to drizzle a little bit of grapeseed oil. Not a lot. It's only a full less. And then in the pan, I like to, um, that excess seasoning, make sure you get some on the sides of your fish. All right. So this is what our Cajun salmon looks like seasoned just for video purposes i'm seasoning with you guys today but usually i like to go ahead and season it and let the seasonings marinate so you can do that too you can season it in the morning season it the night before and let the meat marinate so the next one is going to be our jerk our jerk so for our jerk we're going to do the same thing we're going to put a little sea salt okay we're going to put a little black pepper. Okay. We're going to put a little Obey. And I'm only going to use the original Obey. I'm not going to use um, the one with the herbs, herbs and the garlic. And then I'm going to use my Scotch bonnet pepper. We're going to make this a little spicy here. Okay. And then I'm going to do the same thing to the other side. So you just repeat what you did to the first um, side to the other side. Okay. A little bit of black pepper. And then your obey. And then I use Walker's traditional jerk seasoning. It comes in different flavors. Get the flavor that best fits um, your taste buds. You can get really hot, mild, um, and I think they have a medium. I'm going to take some of that jerk and put it in the bowl here. About a teaspoon is fine. And since this is a wet, I'm going to put a little bit of olive oil wax. But you want to go ahead and rub your fish in the jerk. And this is definitely one that you want to let marinate the jerk. Um, so season your jerk before. And make sure you get that seasoning on the side and this is what your jerk salmon is gonna look like all right so we have both of our fish seasoned so the next thing we're gonna do is go ahead and put them into the air fryer so we'll move over here and today we are going to use both sides 
So the first side, we're gonna put temperature to, well, we want smart finish and we want match cook. The first side, both sides, we're gonna put air fryer. Let me start over there, I was off awesome. All right, now we have our fish. We're gonna go ahead and put them into our air fryer. So I went ahead and turned it on. We are going to do smart finish. We also want to do match cook as well, and that's air fryer mode that we're going to be on. We're going to leave it at 390, and then we're going to do a match cook because we want it at 390 as well. And then we're going to go ahead and put the jerk in one. And I'm just going to rinse my hands out. I don't want the jerk to get on the Cajun. And then we're going to cook the Cajun in basket number two. Now, time for this. I like my fish to be crispy, nice and moist. I'm going to do 17 minutes. So the book says you can do um, 13 to 17. I'm going to do 17. We're going to come back and check in about 10 minutes. All right, we're about halfway done, so I'm gonna go ahead and hit the pause button and see what we're looking like here. Ooh, I'm gonna take that all the way out so you could just get a look. Get a look. That looks good. Oh, that looks wonderful. All right. So we have about six minutes and 31 minutes left. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that started back up. All right, we're gonna go ahead and get started on our vegetables. I'm just gonna make some quick green beans again. So a little bit of greasy oil. All right, so this is our plate. This is dinner tonight. We have our Cajun salmon, our yellow rice, our green beans, the jerk um, that I made, the jerk salmon that I made. I'm going to go ahead and save that for a meal prep and a meal that he can have for lunch tomorrow. But this is dinner. We cooked the salmon in the air fryer. The match cook worked perfect this time. Ninja is doing his thing. I really enjoyed cooking it in there. Like, it was super easy. Anybody that um, does meal prep, you have a family, you just kind of cook in and out. I suggest to get one of these. I like it. I like cooking the fish in there better than I like um, cooking the chicken wings and the french fries like this is just really good a super easy meal to make you can go ahead and put um, your fish in there and put your timer on and go and it is done all right guys so we're done with dinner here we went ahead and cooked that salmon in that air fryer and like I said y'all I'm loving the ninja it cooked that fish perfectly it had a beautiful color on that baby both of the fish just turned out so perfect. They were both cooked evenly. They both had that nice air fryer crisp on it. It's another healthier way than, you know, frying or cooking in a whole lot of oil. And I love that alternative. 
um until next time guys make sure that you subscribe to my channel you hit that like button and be back for the next video